Hey guys, this is here bringing you a video another video new recording day today i just played a game unfortunately lost uh this shaker was on my team and he was bad uh so i have warned the lee sin that this shaker was an invader he started his own i think we were the other side of the map last time but he started blue and then went over to red instantly Obviously, it's one of the negatives if you just play the same champion all the time is he might have even done like he when he went for an invade, I noticed his flash was used. He might even do like a flash here and then queue into the invade. It's possible. I'm going to put a ward down like here. This might be the one time we do a leash. Because, yeah, he's run... Flash is something you don't really run on Shaco, but if he's, again, he's a one-trick, they just do the same strategy every single game. All right, so Renata is a counter to Nautilus. She's very good against all-in things, and obviously Nautilus is all about all-inning. The Shaco there. Yep. I think Shaco just turned up there, huh? Yeah, there you go. He does the same strategy every single game. God, he's so... Again, that's the problem. One tricks are the most predictable players on the planet. They just do the same strategy every single game. I don't get it. With the higher rating you go, you're just going to get punished more for just doing the same strategy. Because people are just going to... Like, look, the Shaco's now in here. Like, and Leeson's doing a smart thing and actually going in his jungle because he's noticed the Shaco just wants to be in his. So that's actually really smart by the Leeson. That's the real one. Nice, dude. Let's go. Big, 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 big. But yeah, the Shaker wasn't very good last game. He blew his early game completely, and then he just was useless the whole game. The same thing might be happening this game, so hopefully I just get my LP back that I lost last game. That'll be good. Hopefully. This person's name is also One Trick Inter. Well, they are Quinn. One Trick? I don't think so, no. They're a Quinn main. They don't actually One Trick anything, but they they main range, to play, range champions. Quinn, I saw their top three was Quinn, Akshan, and Tristana. Ah. Need to land that first hook. At uh, least dead for that, though. Don't even know if that's technically worth it, really. What? Oh, you ran away. He did that on purpose to get the minion wave into the tower. Quite smart. I think Shaco's bot lane. Right. He'd make the most sense of his bot lane.
We asked for some help and Leeson didn't come. That sucks. We, we knew Shaker was on his way, it was obvious. The Blanc's even here. We need help, man! Thank you. Oh, that's a Maya under my throat. Sorry, Maya. I did actually not realise she was under my feet. Um, are we still in Master and Master? Eh, there's only one Master player in this game. So not really. We're on the lower end of Diamond 1. Again, ups and downs happen. You just have to accept it. It's part of Solar Queue after all. If she dies, that's really bad by Zeri. Yeah, it's just... She has Flash available. Like, there's no excusing that death by Zeri, unfortunately. That's just bad. Wait, what? That's the real Shaco. This Shaco, I'm telling you, he is bad. He just queued on the spot thinking he could fight the Silas. I don't think last game was a fluke. Ah, I mean, this is a decent bait, to be fair. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we're just getting roamed on again. Is this good for us? This LeBlanc misses a lot. Yeah, it's that one. Shaco's now here. <laughs> this is the exact same as last game. We're just being like completely outnumbered the whole game. <laughs> oh, the Shaco is not very good. <laughs> oh dear. Good thrust, though. Let's go, baby. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Set's doing okay also in top lane. And obviously, I played Quinn yesterday. I, I'm not going to rush to be playing Quinn again. I kind of did that. I think I was losing my mind. I do think Quinn is in the vein of champion that you play if you're just not very confident. Kind of like a Malzahar. Oh, I forgot Lens. Oh, no, I didn't. I got Lens. Yeah, I think she's kind of like a Malzahar of top lane. If you're not very good at laning, you play Quinn, because it's basically a free lane phase. I would imagine so. Someone just said, if set E's at the right time, would it catch her back flip? I would, I would imagine so. Not 100% on it, but... Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't. I was expecting her to actually move. He's going to be a back. This Shaco. Oh, guys. That struck me because this Shaco doesn't like to give up. He fights in really random moments and times. I'm hoping my Zeri is okay. I'm doing this roam because it's timed of these, so that's why I'm actually doing it. I don't roam for no reason. 
I just hope Zeri's got enough wave clear, basically. Nice. I read his name is Pippin then, and I was like, oh my god, where's Mary? Uh -huh. Yeah, this was going to happen. Maybe Zeri should have gone back, but it's kind of inevitable. We got a lot for the roam, but obviously I don't want my AD carry to die. So typically, if one support roams and one doesn't, um, what you're supposed to do is exactly what the enemy team did, is punish it. You punish it by killing the enemy AD carry. Now, we did gain more than they did. We got a kill on Quinn. We got all three of these. So it's a one-for-one -one kill situation, but we now got six void grubs. So it's overall good. It's a net positive. She bought a really late coal. That's a bit peculiar. It'd be weird if Renata roams now, because there's nothing actively to roam for, yeah. Wouldn't have made sense. 2 for 2. 2v2 two top lane. Unstoppable. People in Twitch chat are just saying for a one-trick, this Shaco's win rate isn't impressive. He might just be a peak diamond one one-trick. That's the thing. Like... He's, if he's got basically a 50% win rate on his one trick, yeah, that's not impressive, but he might just be a Diamond 1 player. He's peaked out. And Diamond 1 is still good. Like, people pretend it's not, but it's still as fantastic as an actual rank. I think, again, a lot of newer players, or young kids especially, always have the mentality of like, oh yeah, you'll always be climbing in League. No. The vast majority of players that play League, they don't climb like they, they just don't they get a rank and they're that they're, they're the same rank for 10 years Your team has destroyed a turret. Shut down. i set overstayed Because unfortunately, I do think there's been this really weird movement in the last year or so that try have, have, like I don't know, and it, I think it stems from like low ranking players. I don't even think it's high ranking. What the heck are you doing? I don't even think it's high ranking players that like basically low ranking players, maybe to make themselves feel better, are all saying that you know diamond and hell. I've even had people say master is bad nowadays, and you're like, in what planet are you on? I think it's a coping mechanism, like genuinely, I, do, I think it's some form of a coping mechanism to feel better about their own climb. But it is... weird. That one. We need teammates here. We got some teammates. <laughs> Why is our AD carry split pushing top lane? Ah. Well, the majority of challenger streamer that you'd hear that from are just the crazy toxic ones anyway. That's the thing. They'll be toxic about every topic you bring up. That's just their personality. Well, I disagree, Angler. Unless you've done it yourself. I disagree. Angler said it's easier to get Master now than ever. Nah, I think Season 9 was easier. This Zeri needs to play better. Like, literally, like, yeah, I don't know. 
I think if you deserve a rank, you can get it easier nowadays. But if you are grinding your way up to a rank, I don't think it's easier. This LeBlanc is getting destroyed in the 1v1. Ah, he mucked it up. He tried to do what Pink Ward does. Oh. Renata's dead, Quinn's dead, Shaco's tail between his legs. They're just kind of getting destroyed. Wouldn't be shocked if Shaco is still top lane. Yeah. Predictable. Don't uh, admit to that, Tanky Thorn. I'll be close to ban you for saying that. An enemy has been slain. Zeri wants to FF because AD carry egos are through the roof. But she can't accept that she's having a mediocre game. Yeah, like, I think people don't realize the distance between low mark, like, low diamond and master is stupid. Like, it's a bigger distance between, like, gold and diamond. For what? Admitting you bought an account? Like, hello? Jesus. Silas is such a solo key monster. Oh, Zeri, man. Your playstyle is just so weird. She literally went to go W here to just do something on a raptor of Shaco, and that got herself killed for no reason. Why? What was the point? It's like an, a little annoying rat. Ugh. You can. I'm dead. The AD carry difference this game is just astronomically huge. Hey, Mark. Should be a free win, but we're not really working together at all. Enemy team is starting to group up as three at least. We're not doing that, which is bad. But we should get every dragon, hopefully, from right now. Yeah, never buy accounts, guys. Like, it should be obvious. Like, it should be obvious. The people that sell accounts are the exact same people that hack accounts and sell, you know, hacked accounts of innocent people. Like, you're funding literally people that scam people. And you're giving payment information, arguably, to the worst people to give it to. There's been links between people that sell accounts to stolen credit card information. I think people really don't realize the world that they're getting into if they fund people that are doing botted accounts or selling accounts in general. Oops, I stole that. People do not have any idea. Please go put a ward at the Baron. Enemy team might rando do it out of desperation.
Not sure we're winning this one, I don't know. We don't have an AD carry this game. Doubt Silas can do enough here. Yo, Dolzeri just rando inted. Feels bad. What does this player normally play? Uh, Severe, then Kaiser. They can't do it, they're too squishy. We just need to group up. I think it's that simple. If we group up, Lee Sin, unfortunately, I don't even think got a kickoff. He might have, but I don't know. It wasn't a good one. I oh, know he did. It was Ash through the Renata. He didn't go for like an insect or something. Arguably, he should have gone for like an insect kick. Oh. Got absolutely destroyed. Uh, Baron. See? We do we're, we're fine. Silas is an absolute and then Zeri split pushing again! What is wrong with this player? She is actively not wanting to group as an AD carry. I don't get AD carry players, man. They are given the whole world of strength. They are given the whole world of strength, but their mentality is just what keeps them from, like, doing amazing. It's so weird. It's so weird. I don't think we'll build Frozen Heart. Because, like, it'll affect Quinn, Shaco, and Ash. Uh, he must have got Ash arrowed. Couldn't move. That's the real... That's the real Shaco. The real one. This game is such a fiesta. Should not be this hard. Why did you risk it when you're on zero health? We just don't have an AD carry this game. I don't know what she's doing. That was weird. By the Quint. Let's go. Oh, I hit the Shaco. I hit the Shaco. I knew it. Yeah, you suck. And Zeri got one shot again because she doesn't know what she's doing. Literally, the Zeri is such a nightmare to play with. <laughs> the enemy team have the Shaco and we've got the Zeri. Which one is more important, I wonder? Both roles, you could argue jungle and AD carry are the two most important roles. Nice. Silas one shot the Quinn, by the way. Ooh, why no hex flash? 
to do it against an Ash, I don't know. If I get W'd once, I'm so slow, it's kind of pointless. I'm going to just stand here and tank this. I'll do. There you go. Double kill. Hey, Zofo for show. Shaco just walked in and died. <laughs> nice. I shouldn't probably be taking that. I mean, it is useful. Ability haste on Nautilus is good. Any hook champion, you get your hook up more. That's a really good thing. What? Whoa! Hello? She died. Well, there we go. GG. Apparently, it doesn't matter that we didn't have an AD carry this game. Oh. I can't believe we won this. I, I, I'm borderline. The, it basically, the Silas could one-shot anything, so that was such a power. Yes, we didn't have a Zeri, but they also didn't have a Shaco. Like, they didn't have a jungler at the end of the game. And when Silas can just go, ah, you're one-shot, you're one-shot, one, you're one-shot, it makes it very winnable. Oh, AD carries are part... Oh, I out-damaged out an AD carry as Nautilus. If that doesn't tell you that we literally did not have an AD carry this game, I don't know what else would. That's insane. Wow. I actually, I didn't think I outdamaged her. I thought it might be close, but I literally outdamaged my AD carry. Wow. That's embarrassing. They should have a break. Have a kick cap. Um, but yeah, AD carries, I'd say, are the most powerful class at the moment, but their weakness, as it always should be their weakness is getting assassinated. That's literally in, in like a, a rock, paper, scissors trifecta of strength, weakness, etc. They need to have a weakness of being one shot. They have to. Otherwise, they you, you just have five AD carries versus five AD carries. So the fact that Silas got so fed made it that, you know, the Ash who was strong, it didn't really matter. They had a Quinn who was annoying, didn't really matter. Shaco was annoying, didn't really matter because Silas could just, bam, you're dead. Yes, it would have been useful to have an AD carry, but the fact that our strength was a weakness of theirs, it made everything okay. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. Just to remind everybody, this Saturday, the 29th, is day one of the Subathon. Hopefully it'll go well. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Oosh. Oh,